Hello everyone, this will be a short guide detailing on Dukshini's attack patterns, mechanics and a strategy guide to beat him on any class and available difficulty. I'll start by giving a quick summary of the fight. This boss consists of two phases. Once the battle starts, five flames will appear around the room, in the pedestals and the boss will be invulnerable. To attack the boss, we must first kill all the five flames, which will cause the boss to land in the middle of the arena, allowing us to damage him. When he reaches half HP, he'll go into his second phase. Five more flames will spawn, this time with the shield. We need to kill the elite Changis that spawn to remove the shield from the flames, so we can now damage them. Once all five flames are down, the boss will once again come into the middle of the arena and we finish the fight by damaging him. For attack patterns, this fight is very simple. While the boss is invulnerable, flying around the room, he can do three different attacks. A dive, indicated by a circle, that does medium damage unless you get back attacked. A dive, indicated by lines, that hits on multiple spots and does medium damage. And he can summon tornadoes, that cross the room in a line pattern, doing medium damage. During this part of the fight, every 30 seconds or so, the boss will land in the middle of the arena, while still being invulnerable. When he does this, he can do one of the two attacks, either an AOE with multiple blades that are thrown out in the lines for small damage each and indicated by white air particles, or he slowly charges up a tornado that deals medium damage in the center of the arena and explodes for massive damage, one-shotting him. This explosion lingers for a second or two and is mandatory to PvE iframe because it hits the whole room. For mechanics, there's not much to the fight. As said before, the main mechanic is that you can't attack the boss unless you first kill the five flames on the pedestals. During the no damage phase, the boss will permanently summon small Shangi mobs that will chase you across the room. The small ones are very squishy, but he'll still kill you if you let them all attack at the same time. There's also medium sized mobs that will jump at you and explode, but it's easy to dodge them and they don't do that much damage. Finally, on the second half of the fight, the boss will spawn two big four leg mobs that can use a ranged fire breath attack or melee swipes, both dealing a lot of damage. You need to kill them so you can DPS the flames, but be careful. When they die, they leave a fire area on the ground for roughly a minute, which will pretty much one shot you if you go inside. During the damage phase, the boss will not attack you. However, you will summon tornadoes that will go from edge to edge, passing through the middle, where you will be attacking the boss. The boss will also summon humanoid mobs at the edge of the arena, and they will slowly walk towards him. Once they reach it, they explode, doing medium damage and healing the boss by roughly 2% HP. Now, how should you fight this boss? When the fight starts, start damaging the flames right away. You want to actively be aware of the boss dives and tornado attacks, and keep an eye on the center of the room in case the boss is preparing a bigger attack. If your class allows it, try to position yourself in a way in which you attack two flames at the same time instead of just one. Otherwise, focus on single target damage. You can, for the most part, just ignore the small mobs, but they are very useful to stack up Black Spirit Rage for the upcoming DPS phase, so do kill a few. When you kill all the flames, there will still be a delay for when the boss transitions into the DPS phase. It seems like he always does it at set intervals. Pay attention to the message that indicates the phase transition. Once he's hitable, go to his backside for extra damage and start attacking him. He'll summon tornadoes, so be careful to not get back attacked by them. Try to stay diagonally to the boss when you're hitting him. It's not worth to go out of your way to kill the humanoid mobs that heal the boss. Just pay attention to not be near the boss when they explode. After the phase is done, get out of the middle quick because he'll do some damage while taking off into the air. Now the five flames will have a shield, but sometimes one of them is still hitable. So check around if you can see any bug flames and damage them for a bit. After the two elite mobs spawn, even that flame will have a shield. You now have to kill them. They spawn at the stairs outside of the arena, so try to be a bit away from the edges so they don't do a ranged attack while outside the room. Wait for them to both group up and then DPS the both elites at the same time. Get out of that spot quickly so you don't die to their fire area that they leave behind. Go back to damaging the flames and keep the eye on the middle of the arena while dodging the dive attacks and the tornadoes as always. When it summons the elite mobs again, the flames will also get the shield so you need to repeat the first part. 
Once all five flames are dead again, the boss will soon transition into the damage phase. Wait around until you see purple smoke gathering in the middle. He's about to do a big AoE. He'll fall down into the middle of the arena and knock you back, even if you're in SA. So try to PvE iframe it. If you don't, be ready to use your V, because he'll knock you outside the arena into the damage area. You could also position yourself in a way that you get thrown into the wall instead of outside. After that, you just repeat what you did on the first damage phase and you win the fight. Thank you for watching this guide and good luck for your boss runs.